In this video, I'm gonna show you how to steal your competitors keywords, how to outrank them and how to do this with free tools. One of those tools I've built for you for free and the other one you need access to, but you're gonna get free credits so you're not gonna to have to pay for everything. We're gonna get started right away. What we're gonna use is this free tool that I've built for you guys that you can use for free. You do need some API credentials because I don't wanna pay for the API credits. But the API credits are from a company called Data for SEO. With a link below, you're gonna get free credits to use this, so you're not have to, gonna have to pay a single cent for this strategy. It's gonna be very, very good. When you sign up with Data for SEO, I want you to go to API Access. There's two things you need here. You need to save this email, which is the same email you use to log into Data for SEO, and the API password. If you don't have it here, click send by email, then you'll get it. Step number one, Completed, well done. You should see one or five dollars free credit here. You're gonna go back to this URL. I'll leave the links to everything listed below. And you're going to log in the API credentials. So you're gonna use the same email that was in Data for SEO and you're gonna put that API password here. This is worth it, trust me, you wanna do this. I've got my uh, password saved here. I'm going to now go to the new tab, which is query parameters. This is a tool that I've built so anyone can use it. We're going to place the target website, the location that the website is trying to rank in, and the language of where the kind of website is situated. For this instance, I'm gonna show you how to find the keywords that all these websites are ranking for. Let's see, let's say we want to uh, rank this website better, for example. I'm going to first do some research here. I'm gonna go back, just grab the URL, go back to the tool. Target website, I've placed in there the uh, website name. I'm gonna place in the location, United States, English. I'm just gonna click get website info. In a matter of seconds, you're gonna get this rich, high quality data. What is this doing essentially? It's calling the data for SEO API and we're getting extremely high valuable data for SEO for this website. So I know how many total keywords they're ranking for, what's their estimated monthly search volume, how many keywords that they have are in position one, uh, one how many are in position two, three, how many are in between position four and 10, 11 and 12, 20, sorry, you get the idea. Not only that, I get the actual keywords here and I can go to see more and I can get up to 250 keywords that I can see. This is all really well and good, but then I've added an additional, um, feature here that you can download all this into a CSV data. Now you got that into a CSV. I want you to just place that into a folder because we're gonna use that data, it's gonna be very beneficial. Now what we're gonna do is do the other websites. So let's go this one here, for example, go back to the website, get website information, give it a second. We're gonna download that CSV and we're gonna do the same thing for all four websites. We're gonna download the CSV data, beautiful. Got one, two, need this one as well. What I'm doing here is just gathering high quality information. What we're gonna use is, is a good AI, GPT-40 will be more than good enough for this. And then tell it to help us identify what are the all the keywords they're ranking for and what are the opportunities that I have, I have meaning the website we're trying to rank, to outrank my competitors. Because no matter how smart these AI tools are, they don't have direct SEO data, meaning keyword research and understanding what keywords the website is ranking for. So no matter how smart the AI is, it doesn't really matter. So don't get shiny object syndrome into trying to think you need the latest and greatest AI tool for SEO. You don't. You need to use these tools we've got available to you in a smart manner. So after that little rant, um, we now have the last... CSV. Why is a CSV? CSV tends to be the most friendly file for all AI. So, you know, it's kind of nice and easy for it to ingest that data set. Now we can pick your favorite AI as long as it can manage some um, information or some data, I should say. So we can use O mini O higher for this instance. I'm just going to use 4O to show you that. You just need high quality data and a good prompt and you're going to really win at the SEO game. So the prompt is really simple. You can really complicate this if you want to and we've got a lot more detailed prompts to help you do this in our online community. We run an online community where we teach you, we show you how to maximize these tools to rank them. 
to rank number one, uh, including automations and all the other AI tools that are out there. But we don't give you shiny object syndrome. We actually show you the tools that you need. You don't need every single tool. If you're interested in that and you want to rank your business number one, getting you more leads or more sales, I suggest you join our community. You can try it out risk-free for seven days. Meaning if you don't like it, let me know. I'll refund you 100%. We get a lot of wins for people, so I'd be surprised if you don't stick around for a month or two. Anyway, so back to my GPT. Uh, what I need to do is change here the URL of the website that I'm actually trying to rank for. And let's pick this one here, for example, and go back to ChatGPT there. Now I've got all the data of all the other keywords. I'm going to hit enter. The prompt was... That's right, it's just unable to visualize it. That's fine. The prompt is really easy. So please analyze the following data sets to identify keyword gaps and content opportunities to for that our website might be missing. The goal is to uncover areas where we can improve our keyword targeting, yada, yada, yada. It's analyzing it, it's doing its thing. You can do this with other AI tools like um, DeepSeek. Actually, let's do the same thing with DeepSeek, why not? So I'm gonna have DeepSeek, the normal one, not R1 to show you that this is doable with most AI tools. They're all smart enough these days. Stop trying to look for the smartest AI, thinking that's gonna solve your problems. I'm going to hit enter and see what they give me. GPT 4 is taking a little while longer, but that's okay. Let's go to DeepSeek while this is going and let's just read kind of the first sentence. Keyword gaps identified. The analysis reveals several high value keywords that competitors, a passes taxes and cap trust are ranking for but mariner which is the one that we're trying to rank for is missing and underperforming key gaps include best financial advisor in phoenix financial advisor in phoenix arizona financial advisors near me yada yada localized terms that's a good one phoenix wealth management uh competitor targeted keywords perfect long tail opportunities financial advisor for retirement planning near me good keywords here content opportunities uh recommend content expansions create dedicated pages for retirement planning in phoenix Perfect, high net worth, high net worth management in Arizona. Really good. And you know that it's telling you things that it's not making up because you've given it a lot of keyword data that is from the competitors and yours. So really, really good. Competitor keyword targeting. That's a good one. So add a section comparing Mariner services to competitors. Why choose Mariner over Cap Trust or Phoenix? Nice. <laughs> A little bit feisty, but I love it. It's even giving you localized blog content, how to choose the best financial advisor in Phoenix. Really good stuff, stuff that we would definitely recommend for other people. Now, GPT-4 row had a few problems in the beginning, but that's okay. Um, key observations, Mariner has few ranked keywords. Makes sense and much lower traffic. Yep, uh, your competitors are ranking for more mid and long tail keywords. Often a strategy we recommend and all these keywords are very actionable and really, really high quality. Now you can continue that conversation or start even a GPT projects with that, with all this information and build your SEO strategy. We've done a whole video on that. I'll leave that linked somewhere here below, uh, somewhere here above. The idea is to not obsess over the latest AI tool that's out. The idea is to learn how to use these tools correctly like this. We've given it good data, we've given it a solid prompt, and now we can do some SEO strategies really easily with the AI tools that we've got at hand. I hope that helps somebody. If you really like this type of video, make sure you consider subscribing to the channel, give this video a like, and if you want more support in, in learning how to rank your business number one, we've done it for hundreds of people. Consider joining our community, AI ranking. You'll get a bunch of things like all these prompts, the templates, automations, and support to weekly Q and A's. So you can ask us questions if you're having trouble with your website. Cheers, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.